fair. Today we put together yet another loyalty test. This time we were helping Nico find out if his girlfriend's Britney was loyal to him or not. Honestly, for me to you, bro, nothing is off limits. You didn't feel okay. me like be a dog, bro. Which you be you, because <laughs> that's what happens in the real world. You All right, feel now me. that's right. To pull this off, we brought back some familiar faces. I'm going to expose every single cheater out there to the best of my ability. Here we go. Will Britney remain loyal, or will she end up trading Nico for another man? Better have your Takis, because this going to be good. Better have your Takis. Takis is a crazy thing to tell us to have. In the coming week, we're going to be doing some live loyalty tests with Kai Sanat. If you or somebody that you know wanted to test your partner's loyalty and you wanted to do it live, fill out our new submission form below. It's a new form, so if you filled out the old one, you'd want to fill out this one. With that being said, get those Takis. Yo, yo, how are you? I'm it's so good, good to see you. you. I'm doing good too. Hello? Hey, Brittany, it's Naya. Hey, hey girl. I wanted to know if you were still gonna come today for 2.30 for the consultation? Oh yeah, we're still good for 2.30. That works. Perfect, so let me know if anything comes up. Um, I am coming from an appointment, but uh, I'll let you know if I'll run late or anything happens. Cool, perfect, well, I'll see you soon. Brittany works as a hair and makeup artist on the side. At Nico's direction, Naya reached out to her via Instagram. She DM'd her makeup page, inquiring on a consultation. After some time, Naya eventually moved the conversation over to text and scheduled out a 2.30 p.m. meetup today. Hey, Lon, what's good? Happy to be back, you be live, fam. What's up? What's up? <laughs> you guys loved him, so we had to bring him back. Daylon would be playing our decoy today. In other words, Who's he would that be nigga? the one asking Brittany on a date to see if she'll stay loyal. You also played some football, right? Yeah, man, I used to play quarterback back in the day. Nice, right? okay. You on the opposite side of the ball me so yeah. the dark side huh yeah. uh, we want her to be loyal but i will do my best here we are again guys naya daylon <laughs> right deja vu right a little bit a little bit of a little ptsd vu. for me <laughs> <laughs> don't say that be strong brother keep your head up yeah <laughs> Hey, hope, hope if, if it goes bad, but either way, stay as optimistic and positive as you can. Well, after hearing that, I'm like, ooh, okay. Black women don't cheat, so hopefully Black Damn! women don't cheat either, so. It's 10.58, the store's about to close, and I have nothing to eat. Oh. No comment. No comment. <laughs> so one of the reasons Nico wanted to test his girlfriend was because she actually had one of her friends test his loyalty. One of her friends was DMing me heavy for about two weeks. She was trying to hang out and whatnot. I thought that was a little awkward, so I kind of ghosted the situation. Then we ended up hanging out all together, and she told me, she was like, yeah, bro, you did a good job. And I'm like, what do you mean I did a good job? You know, like, what are you talking about? So then she gives me the backstory, like, yeah, your girl was testing you, you know? And that's why she sent me after you. I was like, oh, okay. So it was it was your girlfriend's friend Ooh. that came clean and told you. She testing him. If she failed this test, it proves my theory that anytime a woman wants you tested, she's really cheating on the low. She's really cheating on the low. So if she fails this test, oh, everything I love that proves my theory. You everything what was going on. Everything, which is awkward, right? I, I would feel like my girl should have told me, like, yeah, babe, I put you through this, you passed. But why is your friend telling me that I passed instead of you? Why did your girl test you? Honestly, I think it's because, uh -oh. I mean, I'm a former athlete. I'm a bartender as well, uh, so I work in the... Damn, this nigga low-key looks zesty. He got double earrings and a nose ring, nigga. I got double earrings and a nose ring. Do I look zesty? Do I look zesty? Do I look zesty? Damn, do I look zesty? Do I look zesty on the daily? Do I look zesty? Bro. That's like the worst feeling. Like you actually, like you look gay, but you not gay. And you don't know you look gay. You think you look fashionable, but you look gay. And I'm thinking I'm look fashionable, but I look gay. You feel me? I, but I'm wearing basketball shorts and shit. Like, you feel me? Because this man looks gay. But he, I don't think he's gay. I mean, obviously not gay. He got a girlfriend. Yeah, you look gay, gang. Man. Back to the video. Late nights, industry. So, I have to flirt a lot. Which is a part of the job. I mean, it's, I gotta give my tips and whatnot. So I try to explain this to her. Flirting for cash or flirting for ass? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Which I told you black men don't cheat. I keep it cordial, you know? I never take it to the extreme. I don't exchange information, numbers of that sort. Only time I do is if it's professional, you know? Someone's like, yeah, 
do you bartend at weddings or something of that sort? Now on top of pulling the Una reverse, Nico does feel like she could be hiding something. According to him, she goes out a lot. And if she already thinks that he's doing something, what is she doing? I want her to hang with her friends, you know, yeah. go hang out, get out my face for a little bit and then come back home to me, you know? Yeah. But I'm a little skeptical because- She can't have a mind of her own. Yeah, yeah for sure. I, I think, you know, I'm hoping she stays loyal when they're out or whatnot. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what I like to think, but. Do you usually work as a bartender like Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Yes, usually on the weekend, so, you know. And does she go party out? party time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. She goes out while you're working and all that. Sometimes yeah, we don't know. live together. We do not live together. I can see Nico's reasoning for wanting a test oh, for yeah. you. But I'll test that time, bitch too. I can too. also see her reasoning for testing him. I mean, he literally said that he flirts with his customers. Now, granted, he did say it was just for tips, but is he telling the truth? I'm going to be honest, something wasn't sitting right with me, and unfortunately, I had some doubts. He flirts with customers, but he's always at work. And when he's not at work during the week, he's with you. She's out every single weekend while this man's at work, though. Ha every my nigga, oh my, like I feel as that. I just, that's the reason I couldn't fuck with this one girl. She was older than me, and but she's out every fucking weekend. Like, why are you going to the, a different club or bar every weekend? You damn near almost thirty. I get having fun, but like, what the fuck are you doing? Like every weekend, like every weekend, and you want me to take you seriously? But you out every single weekend. No, bro, grow the fuck up. Like, grow up. I didn't feel right about helping him find out if his girlfriend was cheating, if he was cheating as well. So to get rid of any double standard, we decided to wing it and test him too. Yeah, for the first time ever in UD history, we are pulling a test within a test, and Naya's gonna be our decoy. This was off the dome, guys. I didn't think about testing this guy until we sat down and had that conversation. That's Before hella that, biased. clean. After that, I don't know. I'm gonna connect two more cameras. You just let me know if you can hear them, okay? Cool. They weird we for isolated that. isolated Nico in our control room and planned to send in Naya to hit on him. At this time, we were still setting up, so there was no way this man thought any hidden cameras or hidden microphones were rolling yet. And so, after giving it some time, we sent in Naya to make her move. Jameson, a famously smooth whiskey. That's hella biased. Famous Eight hours? Almost. Eight hours. He's never. Hey. What's up? What's up? How are you feeling? I'm a little nervous, but... Nervous? I remember I was nervous, too. Because you just never know, like, what to expect, you know? I figure that, but, you know... I mean, black women don't cheat, so maybe. <laughs> but you really do look familiar. What bar do you work at? You said you bartend, right? Yeah, bar downtown. Downtown. Yeah. You know what? I think that I saw you last weekend. Like, it had to be you. I mean, tall, handsome. I can't miss that. I had two homegirls with me, but I specifically remember you. <laughs> That's crazy, though. Were the drinks good, at least? It, it was strong, real yeah. good. I remember telling my friend, like, damn, I should have, like, said something, got his number or something. Like, okay, come on, man. It was you, for sure. How often do you work? Like, uh, usually on the weekends. Weekends, weekends yeah. A couple yeah. weekdays, but... Well, yeah, maybe I can get your number so the next time I go, I could uh, let you know. You can make me a drink, and maybe we can, like, kick it after or something. I uh, mean, we got to keep it cordial, because, you know, I have a girl, of course, but I wouldn't mind making you a drink, you know, your friends. Yeah. For sure. On, I ain't even going to hold you. you on that one. I don't mean to brag, but you know. <laughs> yeah, you nice. got skills. I was pretty good. And so with that, Nico passes. Maybe he was on his best behavior, but I definitely don't think he knew that we were recording this. That's crazy how life works, right? Yeah, now we you're are. here. Like, <laughs> 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 At the end of the day, this pass was enough for me. I felt a little bad that I doubted this man, but I'm glad we got the doubt and double standard out. We are good to move forward with this test. Well, this is where you're gonna be staking out. Say less. So how you been, bro? How, been how's, how's everything been? I've been great. I would honestly say that I've healed from the situation. Yeah. I forgave her spiritually. Mm -hmm. We don't mm -hmm. talk since that situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was on I this show before. I forgave her spiritually and emotionally. You know? I moved past it, you know? So I'm just yeah. focused on being aligned in my purpose and focused on my goals. Dreams, with ads on high? Yeah. God has a lot in store for me, so I'm just the higher the ads, the more viewers you need. The higher I, the higher the ads, if I put ads higher, I'm not gonna have as many viewers. You feel me? Just following that path. I've been good. I've been working on myself a lot. I think like honestly seeing the video, it really kind of made me like <sighs> I remember her it was crazy. Yeah, it's Cause I was just honestly very very emotional. I'm not ashamed of myself though because i mean you never know how you're going to handle a situation until yeah. you're in that situation yeah. you know but i did learn and grow from it for yeah. sure so that's, that's what good. matters i've been working on myself much more happier now definitely not taking no bullshit at all yeah have you spoken to him no not at all never not since that day do you know how he's doing no on i don't Instagram care or anything? at no. all he's not even my type anymore <laughs> i'm just i got a new type like <laughs> 
And so with everything officially set up and ready to go, all we had to do was take our marks. <sighs> Here we go, huh? After a good 15 more minutes, Brittany had finally arrived. Hello? Oh, she's getting a call. Oh, you're outside. Will Brittany reciprocate the same loyalty that Nico showed her twice? I guess it's time to find out. She, she about to, she about to fail. She about to she fail. Comes, she comes right here. Nice to finally it's meet nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> she about to fail. Okay. See what we working with? Now that I really got a full glimpse of what she looks like. So welcome to my home. Wow. Such a beautiful home. Thank you. Brittany had finally arrived for her scheduled consultation with Naya. Before sending in Daylon, we wanted to make this thing realistic and make sure Brittany didn't recognize anyone. So are you positive your girlfriend hasn't seen one of our videos? I highly doubt it. She's usually just on Instagram and TikTok. Because Brittany pulled a loyalty test on Nico, we were scared that she's seen the channel before and was going to catch on. We did do our due diligence, though. We went through our submissions and searched for her name, number, email, and she didn't pop up. So hopefully we're good. So what should I be? I don't really know yet. I was hoping you could help me figure something out. What were you going for, like, more of, like, the, like, scary look or, like, the sexy? Yeah, I'm looking. I want to give sexy. I do want to keep it sexy. I'm thinking, like, a sexy zombie or, like, a sexy, What are we like, doing? What is, what is going something? on? Something, what you thinking? Yeah, I think that's cute. Oh, this is before Halloween. Anything, like, anything oh, like yes. that. Yes. Brittany didn't seem to recognize Naya, look around from cameras, or seem suspicious. Um, let me see some of your work. I don't really know, like, how should I do my hair? Like, should I do, like, straight? Should I have a bit curly? Like, I really am so indecisive. I need you to okay, help me with um, this. <laughs> yeah, I have a, there's a couple of ideas, especially. I think the, I think the zombie. Sexy zombie? I think that will, I think you will really eat, eat that. that. <laughs> I don't want to give oh. dad zombie though. Like, I definitely want to be real sexy, real cutesy still, real mindful. So there's like these ones. You oh, I like for. this. I like this one. Yeah. What you think about the hair though? Should I do like straight, bust down, middle part, mm -hmm. like side part? What mm -hmm. you thinking? Let's see. If you go for the zombie, yeah. I have a 613. You could die. Oh, we could die a green. For sure. And and <gasps> we could I've like never this, done like, that. Yes, you could do like a, um... They are kind of in a situation that's like semi toxic where they're both going back and forth, loyalty test, loyalty test. So it's like, dang, who is going to win of this battle of the loyalty test? But I hope <laughs> they both have received or received the answers that they're looking for. All right, Andrew, you can go ahead and send Daylon to make his entrance. It's go time, man. Make sure y'all also hashtag Team Lon if y'all like me as a decoy after y'all watch this video. So that, yeah, I'm definitely getting started on that hair. Start dying and yeah, stuff. Yeah, start dying it tonight. Here we go, bro. Here we go. We gave Naya a solid 15 minutes to make the consultation feel real. So far, I don't think Brittany was suspecting a thing. Yo, Naya. What are you doing here? What's up, bro? You ain't happy to see your brother? Why you got that? Why you bring that here? Bro, because I didn't want to bring it to the party. I can just bring it now. Like. Yo, this is my big head brother, Daylon. How you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Brittany. Pleasure Brittany. to meet you, Brittany. OK, Daylon, pleasure to meet you. What y'all was talking about? <laughs> So, um, she's doing my hair and makeup for the party. We were just consulting okay. about it. I'm thinking, let me show you the picture. Okay, yeah. I'm thinking a sexy, like, zombie. Zombie? I thought she was gonna be a witch this year. Damn. <laughs> no, stupid. Does this, does this get witch? Like, this don't get witch, but no. Oh, no, you kind of haunted and spooky. They, those, they do act like real siblings, though. Like, no help at all. But, yes, we're gonna do sexy zombie. She's gonna do my hair, like, green. Okay. I kind of like witch. I told witch. you. Or, or maybe, like, Fiona. Okay. Uh, right. He's being, uh, he's being uh, funny. <laughs> Daylon came over to drop off some games for Naya's party. After allowing him some time to introduce himself, we now had to get Naya out of there. All right, Josh, go ahead and give Naya a call. Yeah. I got the beer pong That's set. That's the game. We yeah, bad. Nah, for sure. She always lose, but I let you cheat. You cheat. You just don't got the shot accuracy no. as me. Like, like, when well, like, you not look, hold on. I'm getting a call. Hello? As planned, Naya pretends to get a call from her job. One second. So this is my boss, a really important call. I'm gonna go handle this really quickly, okay? okay. All right, I'll be right there. One second. Keep her company for me. Don't annoy her too much. Okay. Whatever, I got it, I got it. So, uh, <laughs> what's up with you, man? You said your name was... Brittany. Brittany, okay, yes. my friend will sit down. Yes. All right. She about to fold instantly. Yeah, I'm from LA. Okay. 
born and raised? What yes. specific part of LA? Um, I'm from Inglewood. Inglewood is in the building? Yeah. Okay. How did it feel? It felt really oh, good. Yeah. I was going she to giggling off rip. I grew up in South Central LA. Yeah. I know Inglewood, even though we kind of bridge in cities, yeah. it's going to be a little different. Yeah, no, um... He's going to be making some small talk with her, trying to break the ice and all that. Okay. I told him he could play with it. He could either do everything right there in the kitchen, mm -hmm. or he could take her over to the couch. We'll see what he does. But I don't know I about that. Basketball, Hooper. And a volleyball player? Okay. Well, volleyball was my main sport, and then basketball was just something that helped me stay in shape. When did you stop playing sports? I stopped playing in high school, maybe the summer before I went off to college. What was the deciding factor to stop? I just fell out of love with it, the sport. Was it like the grind, like the getting up 5 a.m.? It was never the grind. I love the grind. I grind now. Um, okay. It was always more so of questioning my happiness, and if at that point, it's just like, if you have to question if you're happy with something, nine times out of ten, it's a no. Yeah. Damn, that was ironically a little ironic. Hopefully not foreshadowing though. Cause you gotta still work out. I, oh, I, can, yeah. I can tell you still work out for sure. Yeah. They're having a really good conversation. I'm yeah, saying though, they really have it. Engaging. It's they, not bad though. She, they, she's just being they have two. They have a too good of a conversation. Okay. I mean, I like what I'm seeing now, but I feel that. I feel that. They had a subtle. He's just subtly, he's subtly doing it. Like it's so subtle. My entire family like did hair, so I saw my just you know grasped onto. I was just doing on the side. Okay. When I got out of high school, I realized like this is something I want to do for my life. Like mm -hmm. I love doing hair. I love doing makeup. Daylon was having a good conversation with her After and not church. getting to his move yet. So to buy him some more time and to not make her suspicious, we decided to send Naya back out there. Sorry, I'm still in the meeting. It's getting about 10 more minutes. I'm still oh. in the meeting. Okay. Damn. Okay. She having a good time anyway. <laughs> What's been the craziest thing that you've done for her hair and makeup? You don't seem to have any makeup on at all. Like, that nigga know how to talk. I give him that. You know, you just got lip gloss and eyelashes. Like, that's <laughs> it, so. Um, she laughing too hard. Dang, I forgot she just told me. <laughs> I ain't mean to make you lose your train of thought. Ooh. Love what you find. Only a total wide and more. She's blushing. Damn. You making her blush. <laughs> you making her blush. Daylon too much. was smooth with it. He had Britney at a loss for words. Now let me tell you guys, this man's game was different. The plan for this phase was to just cut her number, but instead right. of getting right to that, this man opted to have a full-on conversation with her, which wasn't a bad thing. Now I don't want to say she was interested in him just yet, but she was for sure interested in the conversation. If you were to go to a Halloween party, what would you dress up as? Because you heard the examples my sister was trying to give about being a bunny and a nurse and all this stuff. I like, I go to parties, but like if I had to. Dude, I mm -hmm. guess I'll just be like a bunny or something. So you're on the same type of vibe she on. Yeah, like, so I why? Because I'm trying to think if I seen you across the floor and you had on a bunny outfit. Hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on now. That's a, that's a lot going on. Looking too good to be by yourself. Hold on. She's waiting for him to ask for the number. That's what it looks like. Don't say that. Honestly, I'm He mad as a bitch. Hey, he mad as a bitch. On the niggas, he mad as fuck. I'm mad for you, brother, man. Actually, yeah, which is a football player. Oh, you play football? Yeah, I think that's like my... Uh, so you're going to go as yourself? Yeah, I'm going to go as myself. It's my main thing. I think that's like the easiest thing to dress up as. Why don't you just be my cheerleader? We can pull up to the party. Or oh, you can... Matter of fact, we can just... You can pull up to the party, I'll be there, and then we can like hang out, you know, chop it up, go together, whatever whatever you wanna do. I can be a football player, you know, two peas. You ain't got nobody else to be your cheerleader? I mean, you play football. I'm ain't nobody sure else around. I'm only focused on what's right in front of me, so that's why I'm asking you. So. This nigga is caking the shit out of her, though. I'm not gonna lie, this nigga game is on point. I'm not gonna lie, these this nigga's shots is on point. This some shit I would say, and it, Y'all niggas gonna sit here and say, cap, cap, cap. Mm. I see that look on your face. You I got a boyfriend. You seem real hesitant. What's, what's up? You, you got a dude you're entertaining? Or if you and the girls, you got a girlfriend? Or no. <laughs> you got a boyfriend? Or situationship, sneaky link? So what's up? You single or you? What's that situation? Not to get too much into your business. No, I, know no, I think it's too late for that. <laughs> We here oh, getting to know each other anyway, so. Um, you know, I just, I don't know, I just, I just be working. Damn. Okay, that's yeah. a, that's a cool thing. So. Why are you gonna go like? 
But you feel like we don't know each other? No, you don't know, know me. Brittany from Inglewood. Play sports. She used to play volleyball and basketball. Now she does hair and makeup. She got into it not too long ago. It's a passion of hers. She's very smart. She's very charming. She She's failed pretty. in like 15 she's like minutes, Italian bro. Food. She doesn't go out that often. What else am I missing? That's about it. <laughs> that nigga. Oh my goodness, bro. The one thing girls really love is you remembering shit about them, bro. When you were made, he just spit everything out she said verbatim. She she's lost. She he lost. I you like a lot, bro. I'm not even mad at her at this point because like I know how women are, bro. <laughs> exactly. So boom. matter of fact, matter of fact, okay, so maybe going to the party together is a little much, you know. Why don't we just go out on a date? We can do like a spy and food day. Like, you know, all my treat, of course, gentlemen, my treat. I know you be on your feet a lot. We can do a spa day and then after that we can go out to eat. I think it'll be dope and I think it'll give us a space to like grow a little more and get to know each other. Somebody needs to take care of you because somebody obviously is not doing their job if somebody is in the picture, so. Um. What's up? Okay. You down? Okay. Is that a yes? You down to That's go up? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take that as a confirmation. Why don't we just exchange Instagrams? That's okay. that's cool for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Matter, matter of fact, Instagram. Why don't you just put your number in my phone? She reached over. It's oh, all yeah. Told you she was waiting on that. She was waiting on that. So yeah. All right, babe, I got you. Let me call it real quick to make sure it's actual. actually. No, you number. think you call it 911? Hold on, nah. I don't know, because I know y'all women, y'all be giving fake numbers. Okay, bet. I see the phone ringing. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe she this shit, neither. Bring you up, a long time ago. Yeah, well, like 20 yeah. minutes ago, actually. This nigga got, this nigga got tested twice. And she, I fucking told y'all, bro. I told y'all. When women be testing a man, they be the cheaters. When they testing they man, they be the cheaters. If a woman feels like they have to test they man, it's because she's cheating. You're not doing nothing wrong as the man. She's cheating. If my girl I ever had tested me on everything I love, I'm breaking up with her. Because I know you're doing some slimy shit behind my back. Women only test they man and get mad at little shit they do because they're guilty about the slimy shit that they doing on their own. And they want to they wanna make sure that it's not just them being the one doing wrong shit. They think they sick. They think we don't fucking know game. I know game. That's why women do that shit. They test you. They get mad at every little thing you do if you even smile at a bitch because they know that they bullshitting you behind your back. And so they don't want to feel like the only bad person in a relationship. This is a lack of responsibility, bro. Damn. And so that's that. Daylon now holds Brittany there, and we end up sending Naya back in to end this thing. This is phase one. It was a pleasure okay. meeting you. I gotta run, mm -hmm. but uh, I'll be in touch. Hopefully he didn't annoy you too bad, did he? <laughs> no. So you positive you want to take it to the day two? Yes. Day two. Yeah. I don't even need a day two. Day I seen it all to in me, day the one. conversation that Brittany was having with Daylon was fine. Until, of course, she didn't mention that she had a boyfriend and she committed to going on a date with him. Cash or can I do cash um, up? Girl, they'll cash out. Whatever. Cash, I'll, I'll probably have some cash for you. Have some cash. Maybe Britney didn't mean it though, maybe she did. I mean, you guys know how this goes. To not no. leave any room for excuses, Nico wanted to take things into a date too. Nico was loyal to this woman twice. Hopefully this was just a fluke and she stays loyal too. Nico, Starting you might as well just shoot that bitch, man. Can be harsh. Bro. It's, it's not looking too good for her, bro. It's, it's, it's not, bro. It's, she's been extremely responsive. Like, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. If that were my girl, I would not want her talking to another man like this. Daylon's job was to keep in touch with Britney until we filmed on day two. And according to him and apparently these messages, she was extremely responsive. And I'm just testing the waters for sure. I'm just, I text her in the morning just to see if she responds. She responds. I text her midday just to see what she's doing, checking on her. She responds. She's just making herself fully available for me. It's, oh, it's, damn. She's ready for me to take it to that next level. If this wasn't a test and this was actually like a woman that I'm surely interested in, yeah, it would have been. We've been a little different, oh, first of all. Oh, my God. The way it's looking right now, she's showing up, open arms, maybe even open legs. Hello? 
Yo, Nico, my bad, bro. I was driving. Oh, you're good. No worries. So this Saturday works then? Yeah, it works. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to tell Day London to try to make the Saturday work and then, um, and then, yeah. Sounds good to me. Did you get a chance to go over like the screenshot messages that I sent you? Yeah. What'd you think of him? She was definitely talking to him a lot. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like you only talk to people this much if you're trying to. Daylon and Nico were convinced that because Britney was being so responsive, she was gonna feel bad. I'm not saying I disagreed, I just wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. That is until Daylon texted us that he had a surprise for us. Now hear me out guys. The way this man had been building this up and didn't want to tell us what this surprise was, I honestly thought the worst. I thought she sent him nudes. Yeah. I really, really did. Like, why else would he be tell us? She sent him nudes. We rolling, right? We rolling. Bro, bro. Stop. Me, what is it, dude? Let me tell you <laughs> what this, is bro. it? So listen. What happened? We were talking, right? Oh no. And then once you sent me the address that we were gonna be here, bro, I had I had to. Matter of fact, let me just show you. I ain't even gonna tell you. Let me no. let me just show you, bro. Yeah, so no. Yeah, her and I, we already kicked it, bro. I just felt like no. Yeah. Once you see me the address that we were gonna be, I just took it to a little cafe down the street. Okay, I don't know what's worse. What is worse, guys? Nudes or this? They like, already went out. Nudes, you, you. You know what? Let me not even go. They there. already went no. out. Yeah, we didn't do anything crazy. We didn't kiss or nothing like that. A little flirting, but yeah. So. So they already Kurt. Yeah, yeah, we already went out. So especially when you told me like we're doing a whole rose petal thing. I honestly cannot believe Daylon did this. Like, is it over? I texted this man the address a couple days ago, and he goes off and does this. Is is like there even a point for us to be here anymore? He already took her out. Went to he a little cafe down out. the street once he sent me the address. So nothing crazy though. We didn't kiss or nothing like did that. Did you record Just anything flirting. else? Nah, nah, nah. What nah, you guys nah, talking about? Crazy. Just like us, maybe. And How long did you guys hang out for? Like, well, probably maybe an hour. And then after that, you guys went separate ways? That was it? Separate ways, so yeah. Oh, man. No doubt. Daylon's on demon mode. <laughs> I can't believe this. My girl. Yeah. Mm. Cheating ass. We didn't do anything, but it felt like a real first day. We got to like get to know each other. I mean, I approached it as a hangout. But the way the energy was going, conversation was flowing, like it was for sure. You could call it a date by the time we were done. And, and these days, I feel like people call dates hangouts. Like, I hey, you want to hang out? out? It's yeah. like, yeah. It's definitely a fail. She failed. One hundred percent. Yeah. She failed. We already here now, so we might as well see it all the way through. She failed. Did this nigga change earrings? Hello. Brittany, what's going on? How you doing? I'm doing good. Okay, bet. I'm just calling to uh, see a big ass hoop earring to uh, hang out and everything. <laughs> yeah. All right, bet. Make sure you pack your outfit for. Nigga, hold up. She said that shit fast as fuck. Good to uh, hang out and everything. <laughs> yeah. All right, bet. Make sure you pack your outfit for dinner, cause like I said, I know some really nice romantic rooftop bars and things like that. So pack you a spending night bag, pack your outfit for dinner, and uh, we're gonna have a good time for sure. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. I'm about to run some errands and uh, I'll hit you back. Okay, okay, cool. All right, I'll see you later. All right. All right. Spend the night bag. She did not even deny it. She laughed. She like, didn't okay. even say anything. Okay. Spend the night bag is crazy. Either that flew over her head or she's with it. Daylon was too smooth with that one. She really gonna see this and she gonna start, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You don't think you're gonna freak her out with all these flower petals? Freak her out? She already comfortable, bro. This ain't nothing. Me, personally, I think he want to be my man or something. Like, that's how <laughs> I think. He, he, he want me bad. Like, Do you think she'll like this or get uh, freaked out by this? I think she's gonna want to be in a relationship, so she's gonna have two boyfriends. That's what she's gonna <laughs> like. She she gonna nah, have two nah, 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 nah. Nah, at this point, it's no longer an experiment, bro. Be in a relationship. Look at this so nigga in the background. Two boyfriends. That's what she's gonna <laughs> She gonna have two boyfriends after this. She gonna have. This nigga just said I'm finna fuck. Talk about this dude's girl, that he's only doing a loyalty test for him, and he's in the background talking about I'm finna fuck. Yeah, bro. That bitch would be under the whatever river, whatever river is the closest. She'd be under that motherfucker instantly tonight, bro. She gonna have two boyfriends after this. She gonna fold like a lawn chair. <laughs> okay, pause. Oh, oh my god. That was diabolical. 
This man really said that. Respectfully, respect. This nigga, this nigga is getting too, like, nah, I'm not gonna lie. At this point, now you disrespecting me, my nigga. Like, I get it's a test, but why are you acting like you really like my girl, like, right now? Like, my nigga, you're an actor, bro. Get your shit together. Ah, smack the shit out of this nigga, bro. <laughs> Daylight is on demon mode. Hey, what's up, baby? Oh, what's up? All right, what you up to? Just at home. Yeah, uh, you hungry or anything? Trying to get some food? I actually already ate. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I was just trying to see you trying to grab some food or something later. Um, just hit me, hit me up. I don't know. We can hang out or something. Last time I was posted up in here, I got cheated on, but it's cool though, you know? Nice reunion. Our plug Kyle hooked Daylon up with the Rolls Royce. He didn't really need the car anymore, but hey, it makes him look oh, good, Oh, so that's who, that's who that nigga, I was wondering who that nigga was in the last video. He plug. he's a rich nigga that plugs in with all the stuff. That makes sense now. After making sure everything was ready to go, all we had to do was get into position. I'm nervous watching this. I'm nervous. Like, why am, I, <laughs> why am I feeling nervous? You do want to confront her, right? 1,000%. Yeah. After waiting for some time, the inevitable eventually happened. Hello? Oh. Um, we go. Yeah, I'm outside. All right, babe. Here I come. Here I come. Okay. Oh, there she is. Damn. No way. This bitch really pulled up. What's up, girl? Looking all good. What's up? Oh, How you doing? You. Good. Smell good. Oh, thank Look you. Look good. The double hand hug is crazy. Drive was cool? Yeah, it was cool. Okay. okay. Where's your, uh, I know that she ain't got no bag. You empty handed. <laughs> uh, in the car. It's in the car. Where you park? Uh, I, I parked a little down here. All right, cool. She got some I'll shit go on her. That hug said it all, bro. The yeah. double arm hug. That hug said it all. Is she right here? Yeah. All right. I'm glad you came prepared, though different outfits and stuff like that. All right, guys, here is what's crazy. Not only did Britney show up, not only did she give Daylon a hug like that, but she also pulled up with that spend the night bag. Or at least that's what this looks like. Nah. Damn. Ain't no way. Oh, he's about to give me the flower. I got a little surprise for you. You know, I had to. Had to do it up, just a little, just you a little. I have to get these for me. Nah, it's just a little kind gesture, you know? Ain't nothing crazy. You like it though? Rock with it. Didn't you say orange was your favorite color too? I don't understand that. And you got an orange? Is that yellow or is that orange? That's orange it look like. I mean, honestly, guys, this thing was wraps. Daylon didn't really need to show off this car, but like I said, I guess it adds to it. But you guys know what the crazy part is? We're not even done. We still got the cherry on top to go. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, damn. Yeah, let me show you the bedroom. Though. This is where you're gonna put your stuff at. Don't pay, don't pay attention. Don't, don't even pay attention to this, come on. Don't even, don't even mind the rose petals and nothing like that. This is, it's for later tonight. It's for later tonight. Master bedroom. I mean, why not, you know? Like I said, I appreciate, I'm gonna put your bag right here. I really appreciate you taking the time out, calling off for work. I don't like to take, you know, you away from your bread, but I feel like, yeah. You know, I'm a little, I'm a little bit of a romantic. So, like I said, I just want to show my token of appreciation for you. You smiling, I know that look. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we can relax. You can sit down though, we can relax. Don't mess it up too much, I put a lot of effort into it. With the candles on the I bed? I made uh, reservations at this restaurant called uh, Barter G's. We got time to kill though, like we can chill. She look comfortable right on that bed. And I got some, uh, I got some champagne too, you want a glass? Okay, bet, let me open this. I haven't drunk in a while, so bear with me on trying to open this. But you like the roses set up though, it ain't too much. I have to do all this for me. So nobody is. I mean, I can see it's getting there, you know? I like the vibe that we proposed to one another. And I feel like we gelled, we gelled so much. You let me know when, whenever it's enough, bro, we can. Uh, I'm saying, what is there more to see, nigga? Go do something. You can confront her if you want. Oh, I'm definitely trying to confront her, because, yeah, nah. This nigga wanna wait till he bought nigga. We still got damn near almost 10 minutes left. This nigga wanna wait till this nigga balls deep in his girl to say something? To go do something? Nigga, how much more do you gotta see? Playing me like this. Let's make a cheers. Cheers to happiness. Cheers. Why you look like that though? Cause like this is I'm sorry, I'm I don't really like to they don't like to. I, just, I don't really get this. This is a lot. <laughs> I can't believe this. I like your nails, though. You need to get them redone? How much they be costing? Like for full sex, I know. What a good 65. That's not bad. 
We, we, for the hands though. Okay, what's the feet? What's the feet total? Another 65. We can work our way up to it, but if you need them done, you know I got you. I'm not a trick, but I like taking care of the woman that I care about, so. Let's relax a little bit, man. Let's relax. Nigga, you're sitting on a, a, a... Yo, you got it? Let me hold your glass while you get up here. Come on, I got you. This nigga is laying down on lit candles, or am I tripping? This nigga is about to set his himself on fire. She's getting on the bed. She is way too cozy. Crazy, you don't even have on no makeup, but you miss makeup and hair. You don't really need any, though. That's cute. Hey, you look good. Thanks. You got something on your face right here? Hold on. Go upstairs! I like your lips, though. You got some pretty lips. Bro, he's waiting for it. Like, it's getting to a point where this nigga's gonna end up doing something with her, and he's gonna get mad at the nigga. And because he's taking all damn day. Like, go say something, bro. What are you waiting for, bro? What is he actually waiting for? Go say something. Mm -hmm. What type of lip gloss you got on? I don't remember all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. You mind if we spice things up? Do I have your consent to, to kiss you? Mm, um, yeah. No. Nah, bro. Hey, f this. Sh now yeah. you wait for that? Can we? You wanna go? Let's go. Tastes good. <laughs> Can I get one more? He wanted that to happen. Wait, wait, they're kissing again. Again? The second time. Nah. Hey, we out, come on. Daylon is wild. This man put the cherry on top. He might be a good kisser. <laughs> might... That nigga not even acting no more, bro. Cause like, at this point, this nigga is, bo this nigga is actually trying to mack and, get, and take her after. He actually want her, bro. Like on the niggas, you can't tell me he don't want her. This nigga is not even acting no more, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, this nigga is disrespectful, bro. I don't fuck with this nigga now. I'm happy his girl cheated on him. Lame ass nigga. Cause like, how you supposed to be helping a nigga out and you actually go all the way and kiss this nigga girl twice? The first time, you get the benefit of the fucking doubt. Only because you're trying to act. But a second kiss nigga, now you're bullshitting, bro. Like, nah, I would've smacked, I would've switched cheese that nigga. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm airing that bitch out, bro. Everybody gotta die, bro. Do you say that to everybody? Nah, I don't do this for everybody. Now here's the craziest part, guys. Before going upstairs, I suggested to Nico that it might be best for him to talk to her first without any cameras. Now, as I was telling him how to cue us in, Daylon puts his champagne glasses away and gets even more comfortable with her on the bed. Just kick back, though. Come on. Just kick back. Okay. Yeah, just relax. Just kick back. Yeah, we can take us. <laughs> yeah. You smell good. Appreciate. There's no like. Are you kicking back fully clothed? Oh yeah, she's bullshitting. This was crazy. We didn't even freaking see this. Nico was literally gonna walk into this unexpectedly. We're over here all worried, trying to walk up the stairs all quietly. Like that doesn't even matter. I hope you guys got your talkies because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. This shit not even acting no more, bro. That this nigga don't- to I'm hungry. We about to say 10. <laughs> <laughs> about to say no, 10. like, Seven. What the? F oh. Huh? What you doing here? What are you doing? What are you doing here is the real question. Why are you in here with my boy like this? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Don't act all stupid and confused. Confused about what? What are you talking about? He was busy, huh? Lost of words, nothing to say. Got rose petals, candles all lit and sh Come on, I'll play dumb. What the f is this? Nah, what is this? I'm very confused on what's going on. Okay, got your tongue? Cause okay. Co you confused, I'm confused. What is, what is this? Okay. She, she said her brain cannot register a good lie. She's trying to find something to lie. Instead of just saying, Damn, you caught me. She would. I, 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 that's how, bro. What, bro? This is weird. I'm sorry. You, you. This is weird. Did you follow me here? Like that's weird. Following you? That's weird. Now don't try to spin this shit around. Weird. Cause you acting like. Why are you even here? You're not supposed to be here right now. We sitting here not saying anything, looking crazy. Like it's all good though. 
Okay, because like this has been on camera. You've been caught in 4K. Like, just give it up already. Just give it up. Camera. Yeah, you heard what I said. Bro, camera. What is this? Yeah. Now you look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> now you look dumb. You really played me like that? What is all this? Nah, stop asking so me that dumbass question. Me? Watching you? You're weird. Oh, you're weird. weird? You over here cheating on me, basically. She mad, and the, the like, she don't know how to gaslight it to the point of making it not as bad. So the best she can say is you're weird. The best a woman can say is you're Instead of taking accountability, you know a woman is cooked is when she's saying you're weird. Okay. Okay. So when I can't have friends, I can't. Oh, you just kiss your friends. Life? You just go to friends' houses with rose petals. You lay on their beds. Like that's that's what friends do. Wow. To give that. She just sat there and lied to the nigga's face that I can't have friends. She's cuddled up. She got caught cuddled up. By the way, she got caught in this nigga's arms, in 4K kissing this nigga. I can't have friends. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That would have probably snapped something in me, bro. I don't hit women, but I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I can't promise you at that moment. Especially you just playing in my face and you go say friends. I probably would have knocked her chin loose, bro. And I don't even promote hitting women. If there wasn't nothing for me to slap her with, like a pillow or something, she might have caught this fist. Like, and I don't even promote violence. I hate violence, but... Man, come on, bro. That shit would have made me mad as a bitch. Like, cause that's like this shit when you lie, like when you lie to your mom and she like this. You go sit here and lie to my face and you keep lying and you, your mom get so irritated to put she just pop you in the mouth. That's the type of shit I would have done. I would have like threw something out like this bitch. I would have threw like the the closest fucking picture frame at her face. Like you you bullshitting me. I probably wouldn't have punched her. Cause like you feel me. I probably would have knocked her ass out. So I'm throwing something at her. She getting something thrown at her at least. That excuse while caught red handed in 4K is crazy. You ready to come clean or what? Because I'm confused. Well, what are you talking about? I'm talking about this. I'm talking about this too. Like what you're following me. I'm just, I'm sorry. This is too much. So, Brittany, this entire thing has just been a loyalty test. I don't know if you remember Naya. So, none of this was basically real. We were all just trying to help Nico find out if you would remain loyal to him or not. Daylon isn't really into you. Like, he's just helping your boyfriend find out if you would stay loyal or not. We understand that you guys also went to like brunch or lunch, like cafe, cafe two days ago. So, it's all just been a loyalty test, basically. Nothing. Quite. Yeah, you look dumb. I really I can't mean, believe you did this to me. I mean, you don't do nothing for me. Like, nothing? No, now it's his fault. Out of the year, we can go do something this on my birthday. One time? Yep. One time. So now when you want to bring you, all this up. When do you sit here and when do you do something nice like this for me? No, 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 no. set up a whole, like, weird ass plan. That's weird. It's weird? That's weird. So was it weird when you try to get your friend to set me up? Oh, you don't think I knew about that, huh? Yeah, I remember that. Cause she can't clean and tell me about it. But of course, I stay loyal. And this is the, this is the thanks I get. How is it a legend? That's your friend. She would have told you if we did something right or wrong. Mm. Right or wrong. Might have passed with her, but I don't know. Mm. Did I hate these hoes. But you could have did something with someone else. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. It's all hypothetical. All I'm saying is, what are you doing when I'm at work? When I'm working? When I'm Look, I'm got the time for this. What am I doing? Stop trying to spend this I, on no, me. No, I'm not trying to spend You're caught. It's like not I me. Said, you don't do none of this for me. I'm tired of this 50 50 ass relationship. You don't do for me. I don't hmm. even recall. Okay. So, Brittany, what if, what if we told you that we actually placed Nico to a loyalty test? Yeah. I, I don't even know, Nico. I don't know if you got on or if you know about this, but we had Naya walk into the room when you were in there by yourself and ask you to check out like the cameras and everything. And we had Naya actually ask you out. Wow, that was... That was, so that was a little loyalty test that we had flipped and did on your boyfriend. And he actually ended up passing. And we have the footage too. We can show you the footage if you want to see the footage, but... Well, I mean, of course, somebody's going to not fail the test when they're on camera, so... Well, he didn't know he was being recorded at that time. I mean... I mean, I mean, just come clean. You're caught. Did you not just sit up here and kiss my mans on the bed? You're really Was y'all not about to get you're very really intimate? Insecure. You're insecure. Oh, and that black bag, too? You're insecure. Where that black bag at? Yeah. Congrats. What you got in there? Congratulations. What you got in there? Phil? I'm laying in a, in a, in a puddle of petal roses. My mans don't want you. Look at me right here. Look. Caught. You're caught. <laughs> you feel me? Man, you just look dumb as hell. I don't look dumb. You look dumb. Yeah, imagine how insecure you gotta be to set up some stupid Insecurities, eh? Yep, okay. insecurities. Uh, you. Insecurities. <laughs> oh, God. you. Why are you even still here? Just leave. That's exactly what I'm about to do. I'm gonna grab my and get the Man, I hope so. Bye.
I'm not you can come get your out of my place too. You take your time. Bye bye. <laughs> the door is that way. You and all of y'all. Lame ass. <laughs> you don't be coming back to me when you want nah. Right. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I think we blew her mind. I think we caught her so off guard that she had no idea what to say and she was just mind blown. Her trying to flip it, deny it, gaslight, and everything in between is crazy though. Like, Daylon did a thorough job. She knows what she did, yet she still tries to deny it. I could have been doing so many other things with my time. Everything happened for a reason. She was exposed to get exposed for a reason, bro. bro. Your life is only up from here. That's the best part about when you hit rock bottom. And he trying to cover him. Nigga, you still kiss that hoe. Don't think that. Don't think that. You, don't think I'm letting you slide, Mr. Actor Boy. Don't think I'm letting you slide. You kissed that girl twice. You kissed my girl twice. That night, that wasn't even a part of the test. Nigga, you already knew. You already knew she was unloyal. You just did that for the fun of it. And I bet you he's still going to hit your girl up. Oh, the niggas, that nigga probably hit his girl by now. Oh, these niggas, he probably hit her up like this. Yeah, they, they paid me for this loyalty test, but I did fuck with you. You still trying to talk? And he's probably smashing his bitch as we speak right now. Smashing his ex as we speak right now. 